Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Jurassic World Evolution 2 Multipark. And I am immediately going to apologize for my voice as I have had a bit of a sore throat all, uh, all this week. So that might be uh, coming across uh, quite a bit. As we uh, go through this uh, video, which will make me near incomprehensible to the Americans more than I already am, since they have to hear a English accent that is not a London accent. And well, immediately we got our gigantic Spinosaurus to put in somewhere. Uh, I don't think I'm going to put him in uh, that one that we did down there, I think. Hmm. I think we could possibly start bridging uh, the gap towards the Tyrannosaur paddock that we have over here. So I'm going to get a really, really tall fence. Out about there, probably. And then we can go down into a smaller sized fence over here for, you know, what is going to be our uh, actual habitat. Start cleaning up here. Let's uh, smooth in, smoothen out some of this here. I'll just make it, uh... Oh no, not fun, smoothen. There we go. Yeah, smooth it all out. Yeah, look at that lovely, lovely stuff. Do that. There we go. That? Yeah, that's the uh, the gate for the funny thing. Right. Anyway, let's put in our viewing gallery. Look at that lovely, lovely stuff fits right in it. And then we can put our gigantic Spinosaurus in there. It's right next to where the Tyrannosaurs are going as well. Is the Amphitheater count as gate? Hmm. Well, we should probably actually maybe start uh, actually cleaning up the stuff. 
given this is now officially an open for business area. But the giant is kind of sore, so. Gigant Spinosaurus you have here doesn't quite live up to its name. Don't get me wrong, it's big, but manageable. Just watch out for those shoulder blades. They ruin anyone's day. Right, so we are probably going to actually have to add an incredibly long detour to our park tour. So let's just let's just get it on the way then. Because we are more than likely just going to, uh, well. Just delete this whole bit. Feel like a park ranger. Because now we go around here. Here. Um, around the lake. Across the path. Into the dragon spinosaur habitat. Through the dragon spinosaur habitat into the T Rex habitat. Can we put them into the amphitheater? We can put them into the amphitheater. They're going into the amphitheater. The truck tour goes into the amphitheater. The truck tour goes. Does a whole loop around the amphitheater. Look at that. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Comes around here. Just fuck it. Just all the way around. Let's go. I mean, pretty much at this point, we might as well just get this all out the way. Since it is gonna eventually do this, so. Might as well just let it do the full thing. And it means we go to uh, check out Spinosaurus, which I cannot find. They're over here. They're both here. Look at them. Little, little guys. Just little guys. Alright, population is fine, so it's just ground leaf that they want. And a little bit of water. There we go. Now we'll do them some rocks because everyone loves some nice Mediterranean rocks. Yeah, we all love the rocks.
isn't it? Go to against Spinosaurus there, even though it is technically into the Theropod Heights. Let's see what else we can get. No, I didn't mean you, I meant the uh, Expedition Center. Feud Exchange. What do we got? Chungasaurus is calling to me. As is Baryonyx. So let's just let's just go. Screw it. We're just gonna do uh, the full like Ferropods heights. We're just gonna just go crazy with this place. We have a Deinonychus down here in this little corner. Probably throw him in. That is the wrong kind of fence. There we go. I do think we probably need to put something else in there with the Gigantic Spinosaurus as well, so... Uh, let's see what else we could get just to... Just to put something in there so that they're not completely redundant. Uh, Dryosaurus, maybe? Pseudoceratops? Uh, what else do I see? Gallimimus. Yeah, Gallimimus. And then it kind of makes sense that it's up in Ferropod Heights because we do actually have a Ferropod in there. Heading to collect the asset. Asset to be collected. Asset requiring collection. Asset collection request received. Adding to the list. Hey, hey look at him going around in the amphitheater. to decline that one. Right, let's get a Deinonychus going as well. Once again, ignore... <laughs> uh, ooh, you have a Guadalupe. Did we... 
have Guanadon or is that... I think I... Hmm. Why don't we have a Guanadon? Once again, I'm gonna put you on random. I just got pinged on Discord, I'm gonna ignore that. Get some Deinonychus on the go as well. And we got six of them. Um, ready to go as well. Alright, uh, Gallimimus in here yet? Some of these animals present a real test of our abilities. Take, for instance, this latest dinosaur, the Gallimimus. It's an opportunistic omnivore that does best in groups. That alone isn't the problem. But the speed. Gallimimus is incredibly fast, which presents special challenges for the ranger teams tasked with monitoring them. So they they just like round leaf in the water as well. Huh. Asset transportation in progress. This remarkable amphitheater is a true structural marvel. It is... <coughs> so again, I will apologize when I randomly just start dying. That will just keep happening. transportation underway. Delivery has been completed. Right, we've got four in, let's get the last couple, come on, we can do it. Transporting asset. We hope that you have been thoroughly enjoyed. There comes five. Keep 
Here comes six. And then here comes seven. Asset being transported. Confirming asset delivery. And the only thing that needs improving is a little bit extra, a little bit extra water. Uh, this is still all fine with the gigantic spinosaurs, yeah? Yeah, they're all good. This dinosaur is important for a number of reasons. I mean, they're all important, but this one, the Deinonychus, was the center of debate among paleontologists for many years. Specifically, were the dinosaurs cold-blooded or warm-blooded animals? With them alive and in the park, we have our answer. Sure do, Cloud. Sure do. Throw in some meat. Transportation complete. A little bit of water. Juicy little bit of water. Transportation underway. Asset delivery confirmed. Transportation complete. Asset delivered. Confirming asset delivery. Patch of water over here. Oh, it looks like they do need a little bit extra space, so we'll just, you know, a little bit of expanding for them.
we are. Look at that lovely, lovely stuff. Now, once again, back to those Mediterranean rocks. Go. Oh, what is this? I'm going to decline that opportunity because we don't need any of those guys. Okay. Get to work. Actually, first things first, we should probably see how we're doing on. Yeah, emergency shelters and such.
whole new habitat. It's going to be our baryonics. It does mean that once again we have to edit our tour route. Imagining quite a large lake in the middle there. And then this probably coming up through the Majungasaur habitat. And there we are. Full tall route back in operation. Well, time to get our baryonics. Too, so I'm just gonna close my eyes and I didn't get anything. Let's close this to that one. Uh, there we go. Ooh, grim. Like I said, I envisioned this whole like center area just as a massive lake, so a little bit of an island in the middle. Sure. Look at that, lovely. Sort of plan this terrain out here. Asset has been collected. I do imagine it like a little bit of a swampy lake. Uh, not overly swampy if you catch my drift. Just something like that seems about right. Asset in transit. Asset delivery confirmed. Okay, this is amazing. A baryonyx. These animals have very large claws on their first digit. This dinosaur also likes water, so take a moment to consider its needs when planning out a suitable habitat for it. 
The Baryonyx was originally thought to be a scavenger, but now, with live animals to study, we can find out for sure. Let's give him his fish. <laughs> He's got his fish. Transportation complete. All right, he needs a bit more water, so let's see how much we can. Spend this lake out. Uh, how little we can uh, shrink that island. I do want to keep the island. Especially the tree that's there. Uh, really like that there is a tree there. Uh, we could maybe have a, yeah, a second lake over here. Okay, this is getting a little ridiculous actually. But I do actually like that that is now lower down. Well, let's just scrap that island entirely. Let's get this all sorted out. I can do decoration trees count? They don't, do they? Uh. Let's do our rocks.
Come on, just... Let's get that last bit over there. Let's hold that last bit. That's it. Go on. Go on, get that forest up. Get that forest up. It's still not enough. I have to expand even further out. <laughs> yes. Yes. I am doing that. I am doing that. That is a huge Tyrannus. That is going to be an excellent thing for next episode. Right. Can we do this for the Baryonyx? Come on! Be happy, you bastards. I'm giving you so much forest! That's it. That's it. Go. Get up. There we go! Baryonyx habitat done. Nice. So, uh, that is where we are going to end off our video. Which one of you is Grim? Give me two minutes. You, Grim? 125 million years nope. ago, you... You're the one that's called. So, from me and Grim here. Proving to be an excellent habitat. I will see you all next time where hopefully my voice will not be as scratchy. Uh, look at this, we have a British dinosaur in our theme park now, so uh it's clearly better it's clearly better now. So remember to like, subscribe, all of that, and from me and this uh lovely British boy, we'll see you both next time. Goodbye.